Hey guys, so the other day I was outside of my house reading a book and I saw my friend's dad taking a walk. And he told me something that I've been thinking about a lot ever since. He told me that it's good that I took a break before I went to college because once I go to college, I won't get any more breaks. Quick disclaimer, before I talk about how much I enjoyed quarantine, I just wanted to say that I understand I'm coming from a very, very privileged position and that the fact that my family did not like struggle to put food on our plate during quarantine and that we were able to still live fine uh, is a very privileged position to have and that I'm very, very fortunate. That being said, despite all the craziness and the unhappiness in the world that's being caused by the quarantine, I just wanted to talk about how like how one aspect of the quarantine has kind of reminded me of something really, really great. So for me, the quarantine was honestly really, really enjoyable. Every single day, I would sleep at like four or five in the morning and there was a period of time where I like regularly slept at eight or 9 a.m. Like during the quarantine, there were more days that I slept at eight or nine in the morning than days that I woke up at eight or nine in the morning. Every single day, I did whatever I wanted, whether or not that I was playing video games or reading or watching anime or watching TV. And it was freaking amazing. And like every single night, all of my friends would always be online. So I would either play video games with my friends or we would watch TV shows together on like Netflix party. And it was just like a really, really fun time. So to me, the world felt paused. I was pretty much done with all of my schoolwork. I quit working my part-time job. And so I was just at home and I could do whatever I wanted. And I had an abundance of free time that I had not had in a long time. It didn't matter what I did because the concept of time meant nothing to me. It felt like everything in the world was paused. Everyone was at home kind of suffering in their own way. Everyone was doing their own thing, but no one was really moving the world forward. It just felt like time stopped. And that got me thinking like the last time I felt this way that like time didn't really matter and that no one expected anything of me and I didn't really expect anything of myself. The last time I felt like that was when I was a child, like during my childhood. When we were younger, we didn't really care about responsibilities or fulfillment or like existential angst because the future didn't really exist for us. We thought we'd be in elementary school forever. We thought we would be in middle school forever and we thought we'd be in high school forever. During the quarantine and when I was a kid, I didn't have any worries. I kind of just woke up and I asked myself how I was going to entertain myself for the day, whether or not that be through video games or reading or watching TV. And I can't act the way I behaved during quarantine or the way I was when I was a child anymore. Like it didn't matter when I was in elementary school if I could imagine being in high school or not. But now I definitely need to be able to imagine picking a college major and finding a job and doing something that I find fulfilling. Like the future matters now way more than it did in the past when I was a child. I literally just uploaded a video explaining how I feel when I stay at home all day doing nothing. I feel horrible. I like I can't go a day without thinking about my responsibilities or the things I should do in order to achieve my goals and my dreams. I can't live in this timeless world because that world doesn't exist. Time moves forward whether or not we want it to. The world and my family expect certain things from me. I expect certain things from myself. So that's why like when quarantine was ending, I was kind of sad that the world was unpausing because it felt like I was letting go of a small part of myself that I knew I would never get back. But even now, like as I grow older, I'll only have more responsibilities. I recognize that I have responsibilities now, but I'll have more responsibilities next year. Like summers are no longer gonna be about just playing sand volleyball with my friends. They're gonna be about finding internships to pad my resume. Winters aren't just going to be about singing Christmas carols and Christmas time. It's about final exams. And it only gets worse when you go out of college because then you have to start paying bills and do like adult real people things. Like my friend's dad said, once you leave for college, you don't get any more breaks. And it's not even about going to college. It's about once you grow up, you don't get the same carefree time periods that you had during your childhood. And so the question I asked myself was like, so now that I understand that I've kind of like let go of a part of my childhood, am I just supposed to be sad that I don't get to have that anymore? Uh, and the answer is no. Even though you cannot go back to your childhood, and even though you probably won't ever have large swaths of time where all you have to do is worry about entertaining yourself like you did during your childhood, you can still go back to being a child. You can learn to live in the present and not always worry about your responsibilities and the things you have to do in the future. Like when you're with people you love or when you're doing something that you really enjoy, you can train your mind to live in the present and just truly, truly be there with every fiber of your being, like a kid on the playground. But here is the best part. We're not kids anymore. Kids are trapped in the present because they don't really understand the future. Like when I was in elementary school, I couldn't fathom a world that was different than the world that I was currently living in. 
And because of that, they end up taking like these carefree childhood moments for granted. When I was a kid and people were like, hey, enjoy your childhood, you'll miss this when it's gone. That didn't make me enjoy my childhood anymore. I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. I can't imagine a world different than the world that I currently live in. But fortunately, we have the gift of understanding and perspective. When we are able to live presently and deeply, we can also understand that the present is fleeting. These moments that we spend with our friends and our family, these moments are fleeting. And the knowledge and perspective that we have, that the things that we enjoy right now won't always be there, that makes the moments that we're able to live presently and without worry, that makes those moments so much more fulfilling. And it makes them all the more special. So I urge you to train your mind and learn how to live in the moment and let go of your worries about the future. And then when you become that kid again, don't forget the whisper in your ear that says that these moments won't last forever. So cherish them now.